around the ten hundreds. And so we have something which links us to early times and to the East, and something which is dear unto us in the monastic life, for it is a moment to rededicate ourselves and to renew the gift of oneself in that consecration to the service of the house of the Lord. St. Augustine has on the night vigil of this day a very beautiful meditation on the blessedness of the one who is carrying the Lord twice over in the case of a blessed lady. It's worth listening to one or two phrases from it. He indicates that there is no rushing aside of the Blessed Virgin at all in the declaration of the Lord, but she is the one who by excellence carries it out. Here are my mother and my brethren. But how does this prove you are Christ's mother? He goes on. Whoever hears and whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Why brothers and sisters? Because we have a common heritage and Christ's heart of love would not be separated from us, though he is the only begotten. He will have us to be heirs of his Father and co-heirs with himself. <coughs> so we are his family. He does not lose his own. But the reason is that precisely we are in the divine will, in the divine word, and this is what our Mary, our Blessed Lady, Mary, the little damsel, already was doing and fully doing when eventually she was called to be the Mother of God. Mary is holy. Mary is blessed. Yet the Church is greater than she is. What reason do I bring? Mary is part of the Church. She is a holy member of the Church. She is the holy member. She is the member above all members, but she is still one member of the whole body. And if a member is part of the whole body, the body is certainly greater than that member. The Lord is the head, and the whole Church is the head with its members. So there's a completion there in the mystical body, head and members. How shall I put it? It is a divine head we have. It is God we have as our head. Hence it is that we cannot improve or take away from what that head is telling us. We can't negotiate his teaching. He is the head and we have to look for his will and his word. Brothers, listen very closely. You are members of Christ's body, and you are the body of Christ. And this is how you are what he said. Here are my mother and my brethren. Specifically with regard to the Blessed Virgin herself, St. Augustine has this commentary. Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breasts that you sucked. But they must not think that that blessedness lay in bodily relationship. So, what did the Lord answer? Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Now, he makes this transposition. Therefore, Mary is blessed because she heard the word of God and kept it. Her mind was filled more fully with truth than her womb by his flesh. Christ is the truth. Christ is 
made fresh. Christ, the truth, is in Mary's mind. Christ, made flesh, is in her womb. Greater is that which is in her mind than that which she carried in her womb. We have the two tables, that of the Word and that of the Bread of Life, and we need to nourish ourselves on both. It is important that that Word speak to us and that the Lord be Lord. There is much adjusting of the Word of the Lord, as though we were in charge of it. The attitude should be that of the Blessed Virgin. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Okay.